Our next contest, bound number seven of ten, proudly brought to you by Rogesh, Pipe and Civil. Introducing first, from the blue corner, fighting out of Geelong, they call him the Pigman. Please welcome Daniel Grant. And his opponent, Fighting out of Warnermall, please welcome Lachlan the Poison Ducks! <laughs> Foul number seven of the evening, five by two minute rounds under full tie rules, 68 kilogram weight division. Proudly brought to you by Rogash Pipe and civil when the action begins our referee in charge mr mark cook firstly to my left fighting out of the blue corner trained by andrew steen from geelong everlasting muay thai official weight 67.9 kilograms standing five feet ten inches tall tonight he's wearing the blue and white shorts with the bronze trim he has a professional fight record of 10 fights six wins and one draw fighting out of geelong please welcome daniel the pigman grand and his opponent to my right, fighting out of the red corner, trained by David Gibb from Spartan MMA. Official weight, 67.9 kilograms, standing five feet, nine inches tall. Tonight, he's wearing the black shorts with a white trim. He has a professional fight record of 13 fights, four wins, and three draws. Please welcome Lachlan, the poison dog. Here we go, Johnny Kev. About eight of the evening, sorry, about seven of the evening. One I've been looking forward to, one of my favourite fighters, Lachlan Dart, fighting in the red corner, 13 fights, four wins, three draws. Trained by David Gibb out of Spartan MMA down in Warrnambool. Taking on the boy from just up the road in Geelong. Yeah. The man they call Pigman, Daniel Grant, trained by Andrew Steen out of Ultimate Everlasting Muay Thai down there in Geelong. Ten fights, six wins, one draw, five two minute rounds, full tie rules. The Pigman wearing the blue shorts. And a big shout out also to an up and coming young fighter in the corner with Andrew Steen, tenacious Tamika Di Cesare. Made the trip all the way from Geelong, working the corner with Andrew tonight. So we got Daniel Grant, the pig man, in the blue and white shorts, Lachlan Dart in the black with Rebellion emblazoned across the front. Yeah, and I think he's, uh, he might even be up on the next Rebellion as well. I'll tell you what, he's uh, one of my favourite fighters, one of the fighting dark brothers from down there in Warrnambool. Big shout out to Tristan if he's watching this as well. He said five two minute rounds, full tie rules. Big thanks once again, John Rogesh from Rogesh Pipe and Civil. Look at the elbows already. Yeah, nice sneaking elbow in there. Clinch there from Lachlan Dart. Attempted spinning elbow from the pig man, Daniel Grant. Not often that you see a fighter come in the centre ring with the ring named the pig man. Yeah. Got to be a story behind that one, Johnny Cab. Yeah. Probably in his line of work. Quite a contrast in fighting styles, Johnny. Daniel Grant very much flat-footed. Lachlan Dart, as usual, on the balls of his feet. Moving left to right. He's had plenty of opportunities to let go, Lachlan, but he hasn't at this stage, which is interesting. A little spinning back elbow, slash fist there from, from the pig man. Fairly scrappy first round, Johnny. Cap, not a lot in that one. Round number two, Rise Muay Thai series number four. Once again, thank you to Rogash, Pipe and Sybil for getting behind this bout. Yeah, and both the boys have already unleashed the elbows in this second round. Another crossing elbow there from Dart, but not a lot of range in it. 
Oh, connects with a spinning back fist. Oh, that one landed flush on the right temple of Daniel Grant, and then he followed up. <laughs> he's telling Mark Cook he's fine, but he doesn't really know where he is at the moment. Dart's yeah. just going to jump on him. Yeah. Oh, this is not looking good for Daniel Grant. Yeah. No, it's all over. Yeah, no, smart work here for Mark Cook. Daniel yeah. Grant did not know where he was. He's still dazed. Good work. Referee Mark Cook puts a...